Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Today we all come again for the Smile Show. Today is a little bit different. I'm so excited. We are still in the um, Head Road Park in Marietta, Austin, Georgia. We are so excited because um, this is the last episode, the 13th episode for the first season. We just want to appreciate God. We want to thank everyone for supporting us, our sponsors. We say congratulations. And our viewers, we thank you very much. And most especially to God Almighty who gave us this opportunity. We didn't know we'd come that far, but God has been so faithful. He has been so, he provides for us when we didn't even expect that he would provide. We just want to say thank you and I'm so excited and I'm so happy. And my guest today is from South Africa. I'm so excited because um, as a child, one of my greatest heroes has been Nelson Mandela. And I had a dream of meeting him. And one of my regrets was that he died without me having the opportunity to meet him. <laughs> but my dream is to go to South Africa, the Robben Island, to see where he was there in prison. Just, I'm just so what he passed through for 27 years. One of his interviews I listened to, they asked him about um, that, what, what, what did you learn in prison for 27 years? He said, only in jail can a man sit and reflect about his life. That moved me so much. Jail does not mean you must go to physical prison. Just try us in our life. Sometimes if you have trials, you have to sit down and reflect about your life and you become a better person. It's one of my greatest inspiration, Nelson Mandela. And when I heard of Mr. Stello coming from South Africa, I was so excited and I was so happy. I said he's going to be my last guest for this episode, for this um, first season. We are so happy. Mr. Stello, please can you pronounce your name? Because the name was... <laughs> Mr. Stello, Stello Shabalala. Okay, Stello Shabalala. Yes. What was your middle name again? Mshengu. Sh Mish Mshengu. Mshengu. Yes. Wow, from South Africa. Yes. Please, Sa can you... We are so happy. We want to appreciate you for coming to the Smile Show. Mm -hmm. We want to congratulate you for coming. And I'm so excited. This is one of my best episodes among... Having someone from South Africa, from Nelson Mandela, where he comes from. Yes. Anyway, and I'm very happy to have you here in the Smile Show. Before we go again, I'm your most wonderful host, Marin Guato Akaya. Today we have Mr. Stelo. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from South Africa. I'm from Johannesburg. I'm from uh, a township called Sowelo where a lot of uh, uprising, a lot of, of our national heroes, you know, they, they took their, their struggles and fighting for the nation is from. But I'm also uh, from the Zulu tribe. We speak Zulu. Uh, Zulu? Yes. You do? <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people, they know Zulu, you know. Some even know Shaka Zulu. So, <laughs> someone might be watching you from South Africa. Can you, can you just say hello, something in South Africa, in Zulu? So. In Zulu, I would say Ninjani. That means, how are you? Ninjani oh. Kaya. <laughs> so, what would the person respond? They would say, Sia Pila. That means, they're doing well. Okay. That one, my mouth cannot pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so excited Sia today. Pila. See ya, see. Pila. Pila. There you go. I'm a bad language student. No? <laughs> <laughs> I there come from Cameroon where we speak both French and English. Yeah. But it's, it's pity that I cannot speak French after everything and. Wow, we thank you very much again. Um, can you tell us an incident in life that we know you come from South Africa, mm -hmm. which 
apartheid. Just in America, we have slavery. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what you exp you see, you experience, yeah. a little bit about? I have I have many experiences, but the one that I could remember um, more vividly was uh, when I was little. I guess I must have been eight or nine. You know, we were just playing outside. You know, in a neighborhood with you know with kids, and. Uh, of course, we knew we always knew that there was always tension between cops and you know and students or black kids. But uh, I remember one day we were just playing, and all of a sudden we saw cops, you know, soldiers to be specific, you know, with dogs, you know, chasing at students. Black playing. or white soldier? White soldiers chasing you know black students and uh, throwing hand grenades I think shots were fired I don't know if they were in the air but we just took off and I even remember my father standing by the gate trying to call us the kids to go back inside the house and as a child you didn't know why why you know why are you being threatened by cops and, I know all and dogs you know but we we learned to understand that it was because we we're blacks. Blacks. It were, it were. I know. Apart from that, all that struggle, you see, get up and you see, become somebody. Yes, you know. You told me about the most interesting part that they implement in language in school. Yes. That's Africana. Yes. Yeah. You you mentioned that you uh in Cameroon you have French. You have French and English. Uh, yes. As we have English, you know. But we also have uh, Afrikaans. Afrikaans, it comes from Dutch. It's a dialect from Dutch. So it's, it's pretty much Dutch. But because of the system that they wanted our school systems to have, they wanted us to learn that language. Even though we had our native languages, you know? But they wanted us to learn English and to also learn Afrikaans. So students, movements, came up and you know we're trying to fight that system and so to say that part of the riot and violence was because of africans one of the reason why they're fighting because they implemented africans in school yes yes and i was just as english is an international language they were making africans so, also as a <laughs> national language you know l looking over our native languages because we have other 11 you know, national languages by blacks. So One you, of them is Zulu, of which I speak. Uh, Sutu, Hosa, You speak all Vanda, this. You know? So how many languages do you speak? I speak at least three languages. Three languages. Because in a neighborhood, you always interact with other people of different other uh, tribes and nationalities. So um, how many um, tribes are? How, how many provinces? Because we have provinces in Cameroon. But America have they call it state. So call it states, yes. how many provinces or state? What do you guys call that? We have nine provinces. Now you call that provinces yes, also. Yes, we call them provinces. We have nine provinces. Uh, majority is black and the black pop is the majority. Yes, definitely. You know, without no doubt, <laughs> it's black. You know, but again, you know, because of our country, we also have people who are colored. It, colored that means. You were not from the African lineage. You were not from white lineage. You okay, are, you, you are, mix. You are mixed, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, because what happens, because of the apartheid, some black people wanted to intermarry so that they could find the middle ground. Middle ground. So they, they kind of took the tag of being colored. So in our country, we recognize three races. It's either you white, you black, or you call it. Oh. That's nice. South <laughs> Africa. So you come from Johannesburg. Johannesburg. So where? That's the main. I know about that. 
Yeah, Johannesburg is a main city. City. Yes, it's a main city. So where is Robben Island? Because that's one of my dreams to visit it. I, mean, I am not that sure if uh, Robben Island is within uh, Cape Town, but I know that it's within the sea coast, you know, somewhere within the east. Because it's an island that they wanted to have where nobody can have access to. So it's somewhere within the city. Uh, I am not sure uh, currently. Mm. So what brought you to America? Well, what brought you to Because you're one of my... <laughs> the first person from South Africa I ever come across. <laughs> All my years in America, yeah. I've never well, come maybe, across. Maybe I should say what brought me here in America is God. God wanted me to be here. But I also had a dream. I also, I, I also had a dream. I wanted to, to better myself. I wanted to, to be, you know, to be the best that I can be. But also, too, because the vehicle was my uncle had connections of coming over here, and that's how I was able. It was true. Uh, a dance company since 1996. So they dance Zulu? Yes, they, they dance Zulu, they dance different other uh, you, dances too. You know I love dancing and especially Zulu and oh, yeah. those type of dancing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Today I've been excited and I've been overtaken. Okay, this is a smile show, we are running out of time. Can you tell us an incident in life that brought smile on you? Apart from everything that you passed through difficult time. But you still smile. You told me about your dad. Which would be your worst moment? Yes, my worst moment was, of course, when you know my dad passed away, you know, at the age of 12, and and later on, come when I'm 21, realizing who he is in my life, and that he's not there, and wanting a male figure in my life, and but again, you know, the 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 greatest moment is uh, when my son was born. That's just powerful. me in a in a delivery room, just holding him with my hands and just, you know, lifting li lifting him up to God and just you know and just thanking God. He was just, they, I mean, because I couldn't have been prepared for that. <laughs> I know that feeling because um, although I don't have a child of my own, mm -hmm. when my little nephew Stephen was born, mm -hmm. the first day I met him, yeah, that excitement, <laughs> the joy, yeah, which I've never experienced that before. Yes. The love and everything I felt was just, yes. it's unexplainable, I understand. And then, yeah. talking about death, last year I lose my dad and my brother mm. in the space of three months. Mm. My brother was 33 years old, my immediate elder brother, and my dad was around 92. Mm. His death was celebration, but my brother, the effect of losing such a young person, yes. and above everything was one of my best friends. It wasn't easy losing someone like that, and but yes. above everything, I see smile, yes. and I thank God for yes. everything. Yes. So you told us you're a, a, a coach, yes, a yes. soccer coach. Yes. Somebody outside there might be looking for to who can help coach, so they could contact you. Yes, if 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 you want, if you interested, you, you, you in know, soccer. soccer is coming on in America. Yes, before they had football, but now everybody soccer. Yes, soccer. now it's soccer. So you, um, less people do play soccer. So you're a coach for soccer. So yes, someone might be watching us and need a coach. So how can they contact you? Well, right now I could give you uh, my phone number, but the best thing I could give is my email address. My email address is stella one dot shower. I'm gonna spell it. S T E L L O one dot T S H A B B S boy A at Gmail. And I'm I'm affiliated with the club called SSA. Okay, you can find that from the screen if you want to contact Mr. Stello. Mr. Stello, your other two names, my mouth <laughs> will not be able to pronounce that. Yes. But Mr. Stello, we yes. thank you for coming to the Smile Show. We appreciate you. It has been so wonderful having someone from South Africa. Oh, yes. One of my <laughs> greatest mentors, yes. which I never met in person. And my, one of my great great is that I never met him in person. But I met you and you're the last guest for season one, which is a, is a privilege and honor. And we thank you. In the future, we're going to invite you here more, yes. one more time. And... We know someone has been watching us and you'll find his address from the screen. Anyway, we cannot live without me introducing my book. I write books.
you have a life again. You have near near to success syndrome. You have a world is life. And you also have don't be discouraged, which you can find all that from Amazon.com. Thank you once more. Um, I am the host, Maringua Toakaya. Before we leave, I just want to thank God a little bit. Uh, although I don't know how they say my voice is not good in singing there. Today I just want to sing to glorify God. <laughs> I was in the choir in my church and the choir leaders pulled me out that my voice is semi <laughs> Today I'm going to sing and I'm a Christian, not only a Christian, I'm a born again Christian. Let me just sing and just thank God for this season one which is finished. Um, the songwriter says, This kind God and oversee your kindness. This kind God, better be your holy name. This kind God, we have not seen his name, and better be his name. He goes ahead and says, Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Baba. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. I just want to say, I just want to say, I love you. I love you, Lord. I just want to say, I love you. I love you, Lord. I just want to say, I love you. I love you, I love you. He went and I said, We conquer Satan. We conquer the we conquer with the politics in the name of Jesus. Shout, Ale, 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 Ale. Father God, we just thank you for everything and we appreciate everyone for watching us for the smile show. I just sing, don't mind my voice, but just keep watching. We thank you very much. You can find us on Facebook. We are on Twister. Google us, we are on YouTube. Just Google us, you see or share us to your friends. We are the Smile Show. If you want to become a guest or a sponsor, you can contact us and Guato 2002. We just want to thank everyone for watching us. And once more, we had Mr. Stelo from South Africa, from where Nelson Mandela, which is one of my greatest mentors since as a child. I was so excited today and we thank God for helping us go through season one. We just want to thank everyone and we want to appreciate you and keep watching us. We are coming back with season two. Thank you very much.